I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Hi, I'm Luke Ryan for JoeBlow.com and welcome to Top 5 Movie Mistakes. Whether it's Gone with the Wind or The Room, in every movie, somewhere along the way, someone has screwed up. Oh, hi, Mark. While we're all waiting to see Tony Stark and Steve Rogers battle it out... Wait, wait, can, can we just start that again? Okay. While we're all waiting to see Iron Man and Captain America go head-to-head -head in Captain America Civil War, why don't we wind back the clocks a little bit? Let's go back to 2012. Things were a little different back then. Christopher Nolan was still helming the Dark Knight trilogy and Josh Whedon was putting out a film that comic book fans thought they may never see, The Avengers. It was a Hulk smash hit. It made a boatload of money and won over fans and critics alike and to a lot of people is now the gold standard of a summer blockbuster superhero action extravaganza. But is it a perfect film? Let's take a look and see how many mistakes we can find in this critic-proof, vibranium-coated monster. Let's begin. Number 5. When Bruce Banner arrives on the helicarrier, he takes off his jacket and folds it under his arm. And in the next shot, it's held over his arm. See? It's, it's two different positions. For, for holding a jacket. <sighs> is, is this all we got? I mean, it's a mistake, sure. The two shots don't match, but um, who cares? Oh, this really might not go well. Have we got anything else for this? Oh, oh we, okay, we do. Alright, okay. Let's start again. So at the very end of the film, spoilers, in this shot you can actually see a light reflector, ironically enough, reflected in Hawkeye's shades. Yeah, there you go. A mistake. Yes. Number four. When Thor arrives at the big battle at the end in New York, he lands next to this upturned car. Note the dent on the front there because in the very next frame, Thor leans on it and the dent has vanished. And this is just the start of the myriad of what I'm going to call Avengers Damage Vanishing. So, let's take a look at some more of these instances. Number 3, during the battle at the end, once again, Hawkeye and Black Widow are piloting the Quinjet and the alien Chitauri blast the right wing which gets scorched and damaged. The next time we see the Quinjet, however, and even after Loki blasts it himself, that scorched steel has vanished. Let's rewind to the beginning of the film when Maria Hill is engaged in a thrilling car chase. She shoots out the window of her jeep, and shortly afterwards, the window is back to normal. The damage has vanished. And then again at the end, Captain America is fighting with everything he has along with Thor but he's taking hits and we get a close up of his side which is all bloodied up, his suit torn. But if we take a look at his side later on, it's back to a pristine Captain America suit. I guess the moral of the story here is, nothing stays damaged for long in this universe. Number two, it's another mistake from the end again and let's just cut Josh Whedon a bit of slack here. I mean the whole sequence just about has to be one of the greatest superhero action battle scenes ever made. It's so dense and, and so full of action, there's just bound to be slip ups, right? Anyway, as Tony Stark decides to guide the nuclear missile away from Manhattan, we notice a significant cut over his right eyebrow. In the next shot from inside Tony's suit, the cut has vanished. And again at the end, it's, it's, it's gone. It's, it's gone. It's, it's healed. The damage has vanished, if you will. Number one. This one just seems like, uh, how did it happen? Uh, throughout the whole film, uh, whenever Tony Stark is wearing just a t-shirt, we can see the glow of his arc reactor inside his chest. But in some scenes, the glow isn't there. Now, it doesn't turn off at any point, so the glow should be there, right? I, I tried to defend this myself, you know, maybe this particular t-shirt is of a heavier fabric and so we can't see the light, but yeah it was showing through that same t-shirt earlier on in the film. And there we go. A bunch of mistakes in a damn fun film. But let's be honest, it was really difficult to find anything worth pointing out. And most of these, except for maybe number one, who's really going to notice them? Just me, I guess. And now, all of you. All of you who call me out for being a nitpicker. Yeah, yeah, you are all beneath me, right? I am a god of spotting movie mistakes and I will not be bullied by- Uh, enjoy Civil War. Thanks for watching. Cheers.